Hello and welcome to the video. This is a direct follow-on from Conical Fretboards Part 2 where I showed you how to calculate the radius of curvature at any point along a conically shaped fingerboard. I'm presuming that you've watched that video otherwise most of this won't make sense. I'm also assuming that you've created a spreadsheet that calculates fret distances in this format which I've also covered in another video. Let's begin. First thing we need is some equations. You'll recognize the second of these equations as step 5. These all constitute steps 1 to 4. The other thing that we need are some numbers that give the basic shapes for the fingerboard. We have the string spacing of the nut, string spacing of the bridge and the radius of curvature of the nut. To demonstrate how these equations work, I'm going to briefly recreate one of the examples in my previous video. I'll use the example I used at fret 12. And the reason I'm going to use symbols like this rather than the words is because it's a lot easier to say S, B than it is to say bridge string spacing. So step one. SB minus SM 11 millimeters. Step 2. Fret distance divided by scale length. We know that for fret 12 this is going to be 0 0.5 divided by that. 0 0.5. Step 3. Step 1 multiplied by step 2 5.5 millimeters step 4 add sm to step 3 and finally step 5 multiply step 4 by Rn divided by Sn gives 349.2 millimeters, which is the same value that I got in my previous video. We could calculate all of these steps in individual columns, but that would give a very awkward looking spreadsheet with five extra columns. Instead, what we're going to do is calculate all of this in one single column. And as with previous videos, I'm going to do this in several steps so that should you wish to follow this video exactly, you can follow the numbers that I get. First thing I want is a zero fret, the nut. And obviously that's at zero millimeters. I also want, as a logic check, the bridge, which is obviously going to be at the end of the string, 630 millimeters in this case. Now I need to carry out steps 1 to 5, but all in a single cell. So we'll do this in steps and we'll be using brackets and the F4 button an awful lot. Step 1 equals open brackets, SB minus SN, SB, F4 to lock, minus SN, F4 to lock, and close brackets, which gives me 11 millimeters. So that's the distance between the difference between the bridge and the nut string spacings. Next, we multiply by the fret distance over the scale length equals that calculation multiplied by the fret distance divided by the scale length and we hit F4 to lock that calculation we'll move those out of the way 
got an awful lot of decimal places which we don't need so we'll remove those next we add sn to all of this lot so again we need to use brackets we need to en encapsulate all of this in brackets open brackets plus s n hit the f4 button to lock it and close brackets that gives me 37 millimeters and all of these other numbers we can now do a basic logic check this tells me that the string spacing at the nut is 37 millimeters and it's quite an involved calculation however I've also typed in at the start the string spacing at the nut as being 37 millimeters and the two numbers agree which is a good start I've also typed in that the string spacing at the bridge is 48 millimeters so if this calculation is correct I should find the bridge spacing as being 48 millimeters and it is so the basic logic works our final step step 5 is to multiply this string spacing by the ratio Rn over Sn. Because all of this is in brackets, the whole of this equation will be multiplied by the ratio. So we go times multiplied by Rn F4 divided by Sn and again we hit the F4 button 304 millimeters down to 394 millimeters and again we can use most basic logic check we've typed in the nut radius of 304 millimeters this very complex calculation gives a nut radius of 304 millimeters so the calculation is working. All that's left to do now is to type in a title, which is going to be radius in millimeters. If you've got a fretboard jig, and there are numerous shown on YouTube, all you need to do here is to put in at one end of your fretboard radiusing jig 304 millimeters at fret 24 372 millimeters start sanding and all of these other numbers will look after themselves on the other hand if you've only got radius sanding blocks then you'll need to use the largest radius sanding block that you have and you'll need to find one that matches most closely the radius at the uh, at fret 24 and you'll use that to sand the whole length of the fingerboard. You then take your next sanding block, the one with the next tightest radius, and sand from the next point onwards. And then finally you'll take your smallest radius sanding block and you'll sand the nut end of the fingerboard. It's not quite as elegant as having a radius fretboard jig however not everybody has the space or the money or indeed the need to have something quite that big and involved in a workshop or a bedroom that's pretty much all there is to it we've got our radii we know how to sand the fretboard down to radius the only other thing to say is that I know some of you aren't quite so au fait with metric units. The good thing about doing this as a spreadsheet is that the numbers will always come out in whatever unit you use. In this case all of the input units are in millimeters so all of the output units will be in millimeters. If you choose a different unit then the output numbers will be different. In this case, I've chosen to use qubits. So, should I be visited by 
a gentleman in a blue box who says to me, Here is King Tutankhamun. He wishes to create a guitar with a ragist fingerboard. Can you show him how to do the calculations? I can say, Come along, King Tut. I can give you the calculations and I can give you all of the measurements in a unit you're familiar with in good old cubits. That's all you need to remember. Whatever unit you use here are the units you will get out of here. Thank you for watching.